Hello guys, today I'm bringing you a nice quick session uh, I'm doing a bit of law fishing, I did start off This was going to be a video Using a law made from a stick I actually made a law from a stick um, About a week ago, it was quite good, I brought it with me As soon as I started using it I found a nice big pike So straight away I've changed up to surface laws It's nice and sunny and warm this evening So um, it's definitely a good chance of a pike bite on the surface but what this does give me a chance to do this session is show off one of my newest sort of members of my tackle family you might have seen it in one or two of the other videos where i'm using it law fishing and that is the uh, pc fun torrent i'll put a link in the description to where you can buy it this has actually replaced my abu garcia pro max because the pro max it couldn't really cast out light stuff very well i mean it's sorry for chucking heavy laws but i had it on my light setup which is this one and uh, i found it uh, you know really quite difficult i've got this thing and it'll cast pretty much out seems to do really well chucked out laws as light as about three grams i mean uh, obviously it's a bit of a chuggle a bit of a struggle chucking out laws of that weight on any bait casting setup but if you do a side swipe you seem to be able to get them out quite well um but what i'm going to do is solely for this afternoon seeing as though i've seen one or two pike which are lying shallow in weeds is stick to fishing surface laws i mean right across from me now is ducklings on the surface and whenever there's ducklings present there's normally pike with their eyes looking up so i'm going to be chucking around this spin kick frog normally get some attention got a few areas to try where there's a lot of overgrown weed reeds and weed beds and uh, as you guys know that do a lot of surface fishing you guys in the uk and us you know that uh, no matter what the species is you normally tend to find predators hung up in the weed waiting for those uh, little weed duckies or froggies to come over the little duckies I want the pike to come and eat you here pikey pikey look at all the ducklings come and eat one I know there's a pike down here, I've seen it. Right in amongst the weeds. Still there, it's decent size as well. It chased it right in, it chased it right in. right in front of me it's a good size as well oh it's spooked damn maybe the glare from that sun is a little bit too much for it damn it oh at least you know i'm tempted by the little froggies definitely as my session goes on this might be the lord fish right at the end just when that sun comes down in the sky a little bit so obviously oh when the fish have got a lot of sun over him especially when you're surface fishing the pike yes they can see a silhouette of the bait which looks quite good but also if the sun's high in the sky like it is right now it can blind them because obviously fish don't have eyelids so if it was to look directly at where the sunlight was you could easily blind the fish and it not see the bait damn it i was so close it followed it again Decent size as well for this time of the year. Slow retrieve, maybe. Still out there. Oh yeah, just changed up the retrieve, made it splash a lot more. 
like it, it would if it was a bit more natural. Oh fuck, that was close. It was... Inches from engulfing the entire bay. Shit. All I wanted was a bit of extra movement, a bit of extra splash. Let's try that again. Right in a bunch of weed on the far bank. Normally, if there's a pike there, you at least get a follow. They seem to can't resist the top water. I think it's just easy opportunity for a pike. Obviously, they know that bait. It's got a very slim chance of getting away. Whoa, there we go. Wasn't even looking. Oh, it come off. Oh, fuck. I wasn't even, I don't even know whether I got that on GoPro. I was completely looking in the opposite direction. Shit it now. Took me by surprise. And that's why we like surface fishing. Fuck. Don't know if make you jump when they get you like that. Oh, right. Oh. Tell I've used that a lot, can't you? All holes in it. Right, let's see if that fish will take it again. I hooked it, but it went on for very long because I didn't get a chance to set the hook properly. So whether it'll take it again is a complete guess. There we go. Got it. Oh shit, it swam towards me as I uh as I set the hook. Fuck me. Let's try it again. Make sure it drags nice and tight. You might not have it a third time. I've hooked him twice now. Make sure to definitely hit this one. Oh, he missed it. And again. He missed it twice. Right in the weed. Right in the weed. And again. Yes! Got it that time. Now we come off again. Fuck sake. Fuck me. I apologise for all the swearing. Any children that are watching this, uh... Do not speak like that to your parents, do not speak like that at school. The only time you can get away with speaking like that is to the fucking fish. Now this area, I know full well doesn't necessarily have a lot of pike, but it is a surface angler's paradise. Pretty much the entire surface over to the far bank is covered in weed. I mean, in front of me there isn't. When it hits about halfway, that's it. Solid weed all the way to the back. You don't tend to get a huge amount of pike here, but when there is one, normally you get a take. tend to see the wake as they shoot out from under the weed. They're never normally that big either, you're talking one to three pound if you do get one. But it's still exciting. Oh, there we go, there we go. 
There we go. Yep, fish on. Fish on. Hell yes. Just like I said, one to three pound, that was about three pound. The bigger end of the fish that are normally on this little bit. Hell yes. Hell yeah. Absolutely perfect, right on the nose of the fish. There we go, absolutely perfect. Get him back, quick. There he goes. Ooh. Finally got one, I knew it, I said didn't I? This is normally a surface fishing paradise and over at the back it tends to be the best place to catch them if you can, but they don't tend to be too big. And there we go. It was almost scripted that bite. And I managed to keep it on. Yep. I don't, I'm afraid. I'm just spinning. Whoa, there we go. Uh, that one. Yeah. I come out of nowhere. <laughs> hey, maybe you're a lucky charm. <laughs> no, I've got no spare hooks. What are you doing? Just normal course fishing? Yeah. Oh, see, I've not got any small hooks. Everything I've got is just laws. That's all I've got. What you caught there? A pike. Oh, there we are. Lucky. Nice little pike, isn't he? Yeah. Absolutely destroyed that frog. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't expect one there. It's so muddy the water. I was just having a few casts, sort of killing time, waiting for the. Uh... Oh shit, shit! Waiting for the um, the water to clear up. Sitting under a bit of shade. Oh, one just burst out through some weed. Shit! I don't think I'll take it again. That one was well hooked. It just come off. I, I think. Even though the hook point feels sharp, maybe it's not as sharp as it could be. I'm hooking them, they're just twisting the hook out. hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video I mean you can't really beat a few pike blopes on the surface can you I've had a few well, I've had a couple of fish and I've had plenty of blopes in between so I've enjoyed my couple of hours it's literally just been maybe two to two and a half hours fishing so uh, I can't really complain at that I mean I didn't think I was actually gonna catch any more fish after I lost that second fish like three times in uh, as many casts pretty much Yeah, keep watching and look up and coming videos especially seeing as though the river season's opening in a week's time i'm going to be focused on getting a lot of more underwater footage rather than chub taking hook baits how they react to feeders with a complete rig i'm also going to be looking into some more pike and perch underwater on rivers obviously with the pike i'm going to be a bit, a bit more scarce maybe i'll uh, do a video hookless uh, rigging a 
a dead bait on the bottom just to see how fast the pike will actually eat a bait in the summertime. So obviously, as we all know as pike hangers, a lot of us don't fish pike in the summertime using dead baits especially because of just how fast they can wolf down baits in the warm weather. In my personal opinion, I don't think they eat it any faster or slower, depending on what time of year it is. I just think they eat it how they eat it. Don't matter, don't matter when I don't think. I mean, I've seen them in the middle of winter absolutely inhale a bait. I've seen them in summertime inhale bait, but I've also seen them take the time with bait. So that's going to be something interesting to watch in the upcoming videos anyway. But for now, I'm going to carry on with my frog until I go home. Thanks for watching.